Hi everyone, this is going to be a completely different video from my other videos. <laughs> I have been very nervous, my palms have been sweating, I'm sweating, I've been sitting in front of my camera for an hour not knowing exactly what I want to say. I feel like a wreck, but that's exactly what I want to show up to you guys, because this is the real me, and this is who I am, and this is a real video where I'm not using jump cuts, because I just want to talk to you and have a conversation. I thought about writing a poem, I thought about expressing myself artistically, but I can't figure out any other way to express myself properly to you, other than to just be here and be real with you. This year, I have tried something that has been different, completely different than what I've done for the previous 20 years of my life. And that thing is that I've been vulnerable with people. I've been vulnerable with my friends and my family and even my dorm community, which is extremely different. Before, I thought I could only fully express myself on YouTube because I'm at a distance from you guys. You guys are far away. You're not completely involved in the realness of my life right here. It's digital. I could sit in my room with the camera and say whatever I want and be whoever I want and no one would care. It's fine. But out here in the real world and me actually being me in front of you, that I feel naked in that sense. But it's good. It's good. It's really good. And the crux of all of this, what I'm trying to get at, is I'm gay and I've been struggling with my sexuality for the last 10 years of my life. I just threw that at you. Sorry. But, I have a lot to say about that, because it's a huge part of my life and I've kept from a lot of people for my entire life. So here we go. That's going to be a short story, I'm going to keep it short. <laughs> but, starting out, figuring out that you're different from everyone else, as you enter into middle school, it's a really difficult thing, and especially if the culture that you grow up in tells you that these feelings that you're feeling are not acceptable. And so right off, I felt shameful and guilty for the feelings that I was having, and I didn't know what to do with that, so I hid it, and I didn't want to tell anyone, and I didn't tell anyone. I went, I grew up thinking that I was a mistake, and that the problems that I held were were not common among other people. No one knew what I was going through. I was alone, completely alone, in the things that I was holding. If I saw myself in the mirror, I couldn't stand looking back at me. I just couldn't stand seeing myself because I hated everything that was looking back. And that's just because of all of that hate that was built into that word fag and gay. And I couldn't stand to take that. I tried covering everything up. I put on this incredible facade by getting great grades and doing a lot of sports and a lot of activities because I thought that if I was everyone's friend and was just completely overachieving everything, then they would have to love me. But the problem was, was that I didn't love myself. I hated myself. I hated everything about myself because being gay, I just wanted to get over that. And I prayed every night that I would wake up straight, that this would no longer be a problem anymore, that I wouldn't be attracted to guys, and that possibly then my life would be normal and I could be like everybody else. That's not the way things worked out. I went into high school and I got really depressed because I was closing myself out from everyone and I just put on this fake face so that no one would knew what was actually going on inside of me. And when I finally broke and told my best friend that I was gay, she told me that she'd pray for me, that she would pray that I would get over my sin and get over this evil that was inside of me and change into becoming straight like everyone else. And to me, I thought she was really helping at that point, and she thought she was helping too. That's where we were at at the time. And I tried to change. I, I thought that was the right thing to do. I started doing cognitive therapy, and if you don't know what cognitive therapy is, it's this really awful process that you deny any true feelings that you have. If you have a thought, a homosexual thought, or a thought you thought was wrong or bad, then you immediately counteract that with the most disgusting, grotesque, awful thing you could actually imagine. And so anytime I had a true thought about myself, I imposed this awful image, and I started to believe that that awful image was me. <laughs> and then... Winter, winter of my junior year, when I didn't have anyone to go to and I felt completely alone and isolated, I decided that I was going to take my life. 
I thought it would be better if I wasn't living anymore, that I was no longer a mistake, and that I wasn't affecting people in this negative way. I felt like my sexuality was a disease, and that it was uncurable, and that I just needed to end it. And to be truthfully honest, I would not be sitting in front of you today if it was not for my loving parents who saw what was going on with me and got me the help that I needed. I... I... They didn't know what was happening. They didn't know that I was struggling with my sexuality, but they really did save my life on that day when they brought me into counseling. So thanks, Mom and Dad. And... I'm not making this video to get a petty response or is for you to understand what I'm coming where I'm coming from, but I'm making this video because this is what's truly liberating for me. I need to be real with you and let you know about the pain and the suffering that I've gone through in my life so that I can move on from it and that it's not holding me back anymore and I can truly be myself. And the thing is is that when I look out into the world today and I see the people who are still struggling with this and still think about, think of themselves as evil and wrong and made as a mistake, it really hurts me. I don't know what to do with that. I, I've been in that place and I know where you're at and I want you to know that you are not alone in this, that there are people there who love you and that want the best for you and I know it's so hard to see right now, but God, there is light on the other side of the corner and you just gotta keep going. If I would have taken my life, I I don't even want to think about it. It's just, God, the life is so good and there is so much good out there that overpowers the bad. Things are getting better. I know that sounds cliche and I don't want to be the cliche, it gets better, but it really does. It really does. This year I felt, I have felt more love than I have felt in my entire life being open with other people. I have felt more acceptance than I could have ever imagined. And being honest and real and open with people has opened my eyes to so much in the world that I wasn't aware of. And I've come to a place where I really accept myself and I am happy to be gay and to be who I am. I've taken theology classes and I've gone through a lot of conversation with different people and back and forth and trying to figure out what this is and I've come to a place where I am totally embracing the wonderful sexual diversity that the world has. I think it's a wonderful thing and the world wouldn't be as beautiful if everyone was straight. That sounds weird, possibly cliche, I, I don't know, but I think it's great and I'm so happy to take part in that and to be born as a gay guy in this crucial time in history. It's amazing. Anyway, <laughs> I just want to put a message out there for all of you who are watching this, whether you're gay, straight, bi, trans, queer, anything, asexual, I don't care. You are wonderful and beautiful and perfect the way that you are and you don't need to change no matter what anyone says to you. And as friends of anyone who, with sexual diversity, I just want to say that the best way you can support them is to be loving and to be there for them and not want to try changing them, but just to accept them for who they are and to love them for who they are. Because that's what being a friend is, is loving whoever that friend is. Um, I just want to thank all of you for watching this video and for being support to me and support to everyone else. I want you to know that I want to be a resource, that I want to dedicate my life to helping others, especially um, those who are conflicted with sexuality. And whether you have questions of your own sexuality or sexuality and reconciling that with religion, I just want you to know that you can email me you can message me, you can do whatever because I want to talk to you and I want to be there for you. Um, so thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that this message finds the right people and that this is just what you needed to hear today. This is a message of hope and a message of redemption and love and greatness 
and I just want you to know that life is awesome. So thank you for watching, and it's great. All right, bye.